Hello, everybody. In this combined peer-to-peer -peer tutorial, I will talk about how to do quantitative comparison among multiple groups by using ANOVA and MANOVA methods. My name is Hui Jun Yu. I also go by Gabby. I'm a PhD candidate in epidemiology at University of Maryland College Park. This tutorial is assuming that the audience have basic knowledge on statistical analysis. Multiple groups comparison is a research request that scholars and data scientists encounter commonly. When we are dealing with comparison between two groups, t-test is recommended. For example, I want to compare the sleep duration in hours between a group of panda and a group of otter. Then I would choose independent t-test to see if panda and otter sleep duration is statistically significant different. If I want to compare the observations in one group, say um, I want to compare sleep duration only in the panda group, then I would use paired t-test instead of independent t-test. How about compare more than two groups? For example, if I want to compare the sleep duration among panda, otter, and uh, mushu, mulan's pet dragon, what can I do? Apparently, I cannot use t-test in this scenario. Um, there are two options that I can choose. One option is ANOVA, and um, another is MANOVA. ANOVA stands for one-way analysis of variance. It is one type of linear regression model. Usually, we include nominal, in other words, uh, categorical independent variables in ANOVA. For dependent variable in ANOVA, we assume the data is normally distributed. When doing the comparison among more than two groups, we usually compare the mean values of our interest among those groups. ANOVA generally compares the between group and the within group variation. For example, in the illustration at the bottom of this slide, I want to compare the difference on calorie intake among three types that food that panda might eat, bamboo, dumpling, and twix. Bamboo loves bam um, panda loves bamboo for sure. I'm not sure um, about dumpling and twix. I'm not a panda, but I love dumpling and twix. Anyway, I compare the um, average calorie of bamboo, dumpling, and twigs as independent variables in my uh, ANOVA model for panda. Only one dependent variable can be included in ANOVA model. Now let's take a look at MANOVA model. MANOVA stands for multi-way analysis of variance. It is one special form of linear regression model as well. Unlike ANOVA, we can include multiple dependent variables in MANOVA model. The strength of MANOVA model is that it can explain dependence among multiple dependent variables. When examining between a group and a within group variation in MANOVA, the comparison is in vector form. Uh, what does that mean? We can see from the illustration at the bottom of this slide of my MANOVA model, I compare the calorie intake among panda, adder, and mushu in one model and my independent variables, the average calorie of bamboo, dumpling, and twix are in vector form. I will show you how to apply ANOVA and MANOVA by using SAS. 
into examples. SAS is a commercial statistical analysis software developed by North Carolina State University. This software is widely used in public health, banks, and financial services companies. If you want to utilize SAS for free, then SAS Studio will be your best choice. The first step is to register for an account with SAS On Demand for academics version. Then you will see a web page look like this uh, screenshot. By clicking the SAS Studio underlying pathway, you will access to SAS Studio. In SAS Studio, you can upload a data set by using the upload button on the left hand side. You can also check files and um, uh, libraries by clicking the menu on the left. On the right hand side, you can input your script under the uh, code menu. You can highlight the code that you want to run then click the running person symbol button on the top value menu. Then SAS Studio will display the results um, of your analysis under the results menu. If errors occur, and you can check what um, went wrong with your script under the log menu. In the first example, we will compare students' test scores of four subjects, physics, math, biology, and arts among three schools. For this analysis, uh, we included 23 students in school A, uh, 38 in school B, and uh, 21 in school C. We want to examine if students' performance on these four subjects differ among the three schools. You can find the uh, task score data set via the link that uh, we provided for this tutorial. Before we run the uh, comparison models, it is always a good idea to check the uh, descriptive statistics for a data set. SAS code for descriptive analysis is shown on the left hand side. We firstly check the uh, general average scores um, of the four subjects among the three schools. We can use PROC means procedure, import data um, from work library, and calculate descriptive statistics such as mean value with standard deviation minimum and maximum values for the variables of our interest. According to the results, um, the subject that students from the three schools indicate the highest average score is biology. And um, um, arts is the lowest. If we want to examine the uh, three schools uh, respectively, then we can insert by group statement in the SAS code. SAS will then run descriptive analytic analysis for the three schools separately. We can um, see that the descriptive statistics are quite different among the three schools. Are those uh, differences statistically significant? To answer that question, we use uh, ANOVA to do a multiple group comparison. Specifically, we build and fit multiple ANOVA models. The number of models um, depend on the number of dependent variables. So for our test score example, we built four ANOVA models because we have four subjects to compare. We use PROC GLM procedure to run ANOVA. The class statement under uh, PROC GLM procedure 
is to uh, stratify the three schools. Notice that the dependent variables are different um, among the four models. We input the four subjects in the ANOVA models respectively. The uh, results from SAS are shown on the right hand side. We can feed the models by the intercept point estimates. When doing comparison, we firstly set our statistical significance level, alpha, to be 0.05. Our now hypothesis is that no difference occur among the three schools on students' test scores. And um, our alternative hypothesis is that there are at least two schools among the three are different on a student's test scores. And the SAS results show that the p-values for the four models are less than 0.05. In other words, our ANOVA analysis results indicate that at least two scores students from the three are significantly different on uh, physics, math, biology, and arts test scores. Now let's do a comparison for the same data set by a different model, the MANOVA model. We said now an alternative hypothesis and um, our statistical significance level is um, 0.05. Notice that we only built one model this time. We still use ProcGLM procedure, but we put our four subjects as the uh, dependent variables in our MANOVA model. We add the MANOVA statement under uh, the PROC GLM uh, procedure. The results on the um, right-hand side tells us that at least two schools um, students are significantly uh, different on um, physics, math, biology, and the arts test scores because um, the p-values are less than 0.05. In this example, we can see that our four ANOVA models and the one ANOVA models generate same conclusion. Now let's take a look at another example. In this uh, second example, we want to compare uh, the mass and the length between two types of lizards. There are 20 type A lizards and 40 type B lizards included in this data set. The lizard's mass is measured in grams and the length in millimeters. Before we run the comparison models for this data set, we can plot a scatter plot to observe the data. The scatter plot on the left hand side indicates um, dependency occur between our two dependent variables, the lizard's mass and uh, length. The SAS code of this example is included under the shared folder of this tutorial. Let's compare the two ANOVA models and uh, the MANOVA models results. When utilizing um, two ANOVA models to compare the lizard's mass and the length separately. Our two ANOVA results on the um, left-hand side indicate that there is no significant difference found between the uh, two types of lizards on their mass and length since uh, the p-values are greater than 0.05. However, if we put um, the two dependent variables simultaneously in the MANOVA model, the MANOVA models successfully captured the differences. Unlike the insignificant uh, ANOVA results, MANOVA results on the right-hand side tells us that there is statistically significant difference on lizards' uh, mass and lines between the two types of lizards because the p-values are less than 0.05.
here are some uh, take home messages uh, of this tutorial. Firstly, be aware when you conduct a multi multiple uh, ANOVA models when doing multiple comparison because the chance of type 1 error increase. Moreover, comparing multiple groups by multiple uh, ANOVA models separately could miss catching small but significant differences. But if we compare multiple groups jointly using MANOVA, can help us catch the missing differences, missing but significant differences. In uh, conclusion, when dealing with multiple groups comparison, use MANOVA instead of multiple ANOVA tests. If you want to explore multiple group comparison by ANOVA and MANOVA using some real world data, for example, health related data, there are two great resources, the Ad Health and the uh, Enhanced Data Set. The Ad Health study provides publicly available multi wave longitudinal study of adolescents in the United States. Ad Health covers data from social and behavior sciences and the many theoretical traditions. While the NHANES National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey data measures the health and nutritional status of adults and children in the US, you can retrieve the publicly available NHANES data pre and post the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much for watching this combined peer-to-peer -peer tutorial. I want to acknowledge Dr. Charles Marr from Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics at University of Maryland, College Park. The content of this tutorial is technically inspired by uh, Dr. Marr's Applied Multivariate Data Analysis course. The data sets of the two examples included in this tutorial are also retrieved from Dr. Ma's Applied Multivariate Data Analysis course. Lastly, I want to thank the Combi program for organizing the peer-to-peer -peer tutorial channel. I hope this tutorial will be helpful if you come across multiple groups comparison in the future. Goodbye.